guys, if you didn't know, these are truffles. Truffles are only commonly found in this region, so therefore quite special. With olive oil. This is black with olive oil. That's what, what do I do with like. that? Yes. It's a more or less yes, like mushrooms or something, and you can mix that with cheese or olive oil olive or vegetable yes. oil. Alright guys, we'll be eating lunch right here. Alrighty guys, so this is the inside and we shall sit here. Alright guys, so this is our food. First here we got some mushroom pizza, one huge slice. Here we got a nice big juicy burger. Yum yum. Alrighty guys, this is the vivarium or whatever. And this is the entrance to the vivarium. I don't know what's inside, so let's go check it out. So now we're just walking through, walking to the mysterious subterranean world. Uh, and over here you're gonna see all of these weird and Look at all the layers of gravel and clay, guys. So crazy. Yeah. Limestone rubble. Look over there, guys. It's a bone of a cave bear. Now we're walking up, 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 up. Let's go up. Alrighty guys, so this is an actual cave, so let's walk on through. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, a lot of the platforms and stuff have some information panels, so you can read them and look about the animals. This panel is about how these animals have adapted to this um, subterranean world. For instance, since there's no light, most of these creatures don't actually have eyes. More or less, they, some of them have feelers and a lot of ears to check for predators and other things like that. And they also lose pigmentation and become much smaller. So this thermometer here is quite special. It has been at the same temperature ever since it was placed here, which is, um, let me see, 10 Celsius. And that's the way it has been since 1931. So right now we're in the dark bit of this cave and this is where you can see the insects and animals that live here inside these little aquariums. Look guys, it's one of those ohms. Wow, you look pretty cool. So here's three more panels about this ohm or their proteus. Did you know last time when they saw this ohms or proteus, they thought it was a baby dragon. So yeah, this one they thought for a long time actually. Look this guys, this is called the black ohm. It was discovered in Southeast Slovenia only three decades ago. And it has eyes. And it actually has color. It's a subspecies. Look at them. It's, it's so similar. Alright guys, so this is interesting. Apparently, the first owner signature on these cave walls, in also known as the Forbidden Gate Cave Graffiti, but you know how all over the world people just like, oh, John was here, Adam was here, or whatever. Well, look, this is the oldest signature here, and it's even commemorated on the two euro coin. Yeah, but there's actually a lot more here. But we can't see, because my camera is literally the worst in this light. So okay guys, so this here is a crave cricket. A cave cricket over there. Ooh. Oh guys, so this here is a gut gym. It's actually blind, so you can't see. But however, it can it can actually sense touch or vibration. Come here. See it's following my where I'm tapping. Like it hears because it thinks that's a predator, but it doesn't know because it's blind. Guys, look, it's a slender neck beetle. It's the first cave dwelling animal they've ever found. They actually extracted it from the caves, but they killed it on accident. And they actually gave, actually wanted to offer 200 grams of silver for whoever can find a new one. In the meantime, they actually found a lot more species. But then they only found the next one in 16 years. Oh my god, guys. It's a cave centipede. These are actually poisonous. But wow, there's so many legs. Alrighty, guys, look over there. 
some cave shrimp. Oh wow, just like the wood louse, they are actually transparent so you can see their internal organs. Ooh. Look, there's another one of those uh, cave shrimp, I said it's moving. Guys, look, it's a little cave yeah, shrimp, it's another one. I said this one is moving and eating microorganisms from the rocks. Okay guys, look over here, these are... These are um, cave and feed pots. They are actually moving sideways. You know what they're drifting? They swim too, you know? Yeah, I know. They actually do swim. There's a lot in here. Why does it walk sideways? Odd. Oh yeah, so this here is another amphi pot, so it's another one that goes sideways. I said this one is blind, so it's generally eaten by most of the cave animals. Okay guys, so that thing over there that is in the middle of the screen is a spineless, spineless, um, yeah, so it's... Spiromatic. Okay. Spiromatic. Alright. As you can see, if you look around, you can actually see it's little traps all around the sand. You got baby here, huh? See? Like a, sp a speeding truck. Highway. That's a baby. That thing over there is his baby. Guys, look over here. That's a wood. That's a water louse. Wow, that's a huge shell. Or twig. It appears to be using the twig as a shell to move around. Wow, it, that, it must be roomy in there. Guys, look at the rocks. Those are cave clams. Wow, there's so many. So apparently they reproduce. In, they don't. No one has ever seen them reproduce in their natural habitat before. So they've only been done in the lab. They do this thing called a mating dance, and you can spot the difference between a male and a female by looking at the male's cloaca and the female's eggs. They are transparent, so it's possible to see them. That is why they develop um, all embryo looks like. And if you look here, they, you can watch the the eggs being for the lions and how it grows. So as you can see. It's almost yeah. done. Yeah, three digits finger in the front oh. and two at the back. Oh, this yeah. one is the adult one. No, it's eight bye months bye. Alright, guys, look at this. We're out again. And yeah, look at Hotel Yama. Apparently, you can stay here for a few days if you wanna. Not sure why. I mean, you can look everything here in just one single day. And um, so we're gonna see everything here in one single day. So what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna go to the castle in the cave. But however, we can't go there on foot, so let's get in our car and drive.
Okay, guys, we're here. Let's go look at a castle. Oh, wait, guys. Prajamski Grad. Let's go look. There it is, guys. Prajamski Grad. Isn't it just beautiful? Prajamski Grad. The world's largest castle in a cave. Alright, guys. So, right now, we're just walking up to the castle. It's a very short walk from the parking lot, so yeah. Just gonna go along there and we'll be there in about a minute or two. Alright guys, so we're almost there. Let's enter the castle. Alright guys, over the drawbridge as you can see that's a very big boat. It's, not, it's actually quite small, but the only way out is that way. Alright guys, there's the entrance. Let's enter. The castle. So this here guys is the evolution of the castle. So it started like that, eventually growing larger and larger like that. Did you know that the meaning of um, Pranayama Castle means literally in front of the cave. So yeah, it's in front of the cave as shown here. Not only that, but they also found 14 species of bats under the cave systems in the castle. And obviously they found some pots and other wares. Okay guys, so over here they got the emblem of the castle and some stone and some busts of some famous people and here they got the emblem of the castle on uh, bronze some furniture over here and a painting of the dude who owned this castle he looks badass with a sword and two huge walls alrighty guys so right now this is the place where they defended the doorway of the castle let's look at the ways one of the defenses is an arrow slit or an arrow hole you can see they can just shoot out of it the second way is to pour oil onto the drawbridge. So let's just say that the enemy is down here at the drawbridge. We can just take a boiling hot bucket of hot oil or water or something and pour it on their heads and then their faces are burned. See. Alrighty guys, so this here is where the king shot. So this is the toilet. Then the this the window where they threw their Fecal matter out of the window. Oh, yeah, guys, so obviously in the castle there has to be a lawyer. So, yeah, if they lose trial, they will be thrown down this chasm, six meter chasm, and to their deaths. They'll be dropped down here into the torture chamber, and this is where they'll be tortured for life. Okay, guys, it's at this point where we see the natural rock wall of which this castle was built on. Alrighty guys, so this hole on the wall is where the servants used to get around the castle. Then this over here is dining room B, the second dining room of the castle. And let me show you what's in there. In here there are there is the kitchen, so that's like all the pots and ladles and stuff here. So yeah, what's down there? This thing here is a very simple sink with a drainage system leading to the outside. Then this here is the natural refrigerator. You see, in the cave during summer, the temperature in here is usually very, very cold, so they keep all their food in here. Alright, you guys, so if you look up there, there's actually no need for a roof. The cave itself is the roof. Wow! guys so this here is the lavatory um they apparently shot a cannonball at this lavatory and then it collapsed and killed the king <laughs> alright guys so this here is the main room it's basically where the king and queen sleep so yeah if you look over to this side we'll see a pew next to a window let's go see what's behind that window there appears to be two more pews and a chapel so the family, king and queen, can just attend chapel or church 
through their own comfort of their room. And this is where the priest slept. Okay guys, this is the weaponry. So basically, this is where your knights, shield, duck and all of the other things. So the shields, swords, maces and axes. So this here is the armory. This is where your shields and armor are kept. Along with more weapons such as spears and axes. Okay guys, so apparently if you ring this bell, your wish will come true. Um, I wish to get A's in all my exams. Yes, I want to work hard too. Cool. Looky here guys, this is the observatory. The best view in the entire castle. Woo. And there's also a cannon here. Wow, let's go up there. Oh, up here is the cave castle. Alrighty guys, so this here is the knight's hall. As you can see, this is where the knights used to rest. That hole over there was to keep hunting dogs. And this thing over here, these curtains, well they're here to reduce the temperature. Or increase, I'm not sure. But behind that curtain, there's a small door. Where it keeps all the family's precious valuable <laughs> such as documents and things. Alrighty guys, in the very last room here, this is a sarcophagus belonging to the last king of the castle. Okay guys, so we're outside. And as you can see here, outside there is a souvenir shop called the Spawn Spa Minky Souvenirs Stray Gem. I, I don't know. But let's see what we just bought. A Slovenian flag. Wow. That's cool. Alrighty guys, so we're done with the castle. Bye bye. Back in Ljubljana, so let's go for dinner. Alright, guys, so as you can see, we're right now back at the central market, back to the long street and Butcher's Bridge. Yeah, I just want you to start making ice cream. Very really special way. It's a fresh I wonder how it's going to be. What's that? It's bright ice cream, but it's bright. Right? It's bright, and it's cold. Yeah. Yo. Yo, you. Yeah. Honestly, we're making ice cream right here. Oh, I have it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shit, man, that's good. I'm just excited. I'm Just 
We ate this basically noodles with all sorts of things such as chicken, bean sprouts, peanuts, and chili flakes. Let's enjoy this dinner. Alright, guys, this is actually a wrap. This is how you eat it. I'll show you. So, I got a bit here, and over here, I'm just gonna take it and just scoop out a little bit. And then let's eat it. Mm, it's very nice. Alright guys, so the open market was great. Or Ot Part Ot Prejakuda. Yeah, Ot Prejakuda was pretty good. As you can see, there's a lot of people here. It's a thing that like people come from other cities and towns to like eat here because you're socialized with people, you get to you try different food and every time you come this is not every day you know this is only like uh daddy when is this like held only on uh, friday oh summer. only on fridays it's summer and every time you come there's always gotta be a new team like for instance today there was a team we're not sure the city slovenian food so our best bet was it was probably international food team pretty cool that has got to be the goodest good boy. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. <laughs> if you guys are wondering how this translates into Ljubljana, this is actually how you pronounce it. Ljubljana. Yay. Okay guys, so right now we're on the opposite side of the bridge. So right now, I want to go to the opposite side using the Dragon Bridge to get back to our car. Uh, okay guys, so this is the Dragon Bridge. Let's go across. Okay guys, so we're back home and now... Uh, um, I guess there's nothing else to do, so let's just end the video, right? Well, today was quite nice. Today will be our final. Actually, technically we're our final day in Slovenia, but um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode tomorrow.
where we'll be going back to Croatia to cross over to Bosnia. Bye-bye!